Okay, assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. So today's the so this is the uh, third video. So standard two. So we're gonna learn. We have learned about the standard and also non-standard measurement. So from the previous video, standard measurement or standard tools are the ones that have numbers. Okay, apa apa barang yang ada nombor adalah standard. Okay, standard tool. So um, why we use the standard tools is because we want to measure okay we want to measure accurately we want to measure accurately kita kena tepat okay when we want to measure accurately we use standard tools bila kita want tengok okay bila kita ingin mengetahui bacaan dengan tepat kita kena guna standard tools okay so for example we have contohnya ruler and also we have um measuring tap Okay, so ruler we use to measure smaller objects. Okay, so ruler ataupun pembaris ni kita guna untuk um, untuk mendapatkan bacaan objek yang kecil. Okay, objek yang kecil, 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 kecil. So a ruler is used to measure smaller objects. Okay, kalau kena apa this is always masuk dalam objektif. Dia kan tanya, okay, ruler untuk apa? Smaller, bigger? So your, your answer should be smaller, okay? Such as pencil, eraser, matchbox. Matchbox tu adalah matches. Okay. So pencil, for example, pencil ni kita ambil daripada A to B, which is from 0 cm until here. Okay. Until about 12.8. Okay. So contoh. So you use ruler. Okay. Kamu guna pun baris untuk menyukat benda yang kecil. Okay, for example, pencil and also much smaller ni eraser. Okay, kita guna untuk mengukur benda yang kecil. Contohnya pemadam. Okay, so kita tengok from A to B which is like one point to another point. So, zero and also five. So, jawapan dia adalah five cm. Okay, macam tu lah kamu guna pembaris. Okay, so when you put here from kosong sampai nombor dia, inilah jawapan. So, you must start with zero until whatever the length is. Okay? So, you must remember ruler adalah untuk smaller object. Untuk objek yang kecil. Okay? Objek yang kecil. So, kalau if you have big object, you use measuring tap. Okay? You use measuring tap. So, bila kamu ada objek yang besar, Okay, kamu akan guna measuring tape. Contohnya macam ni. Okay. So, kamu guna measuring tape untuk bigger objects. Okay. So, you use measuring tape ataupun um, pita pengukur. Okay. For bigger objects. Okay. Untuk objek yang besar. Contohnya height of cupboard. Okay. So, contohnya if you have like um, almari. Jadi, kamu guna measuring tape. Pita pengukur. Okay, so how do you look? Okay, how do you look at the rulers or the reading? So this is the proper, okay, proper eye reading point. Okay, so this is the proper eye reading point. Ataupun the proper eye position, okay. Mata yang sesuai. Okay, mata yang sesuai ataupun tepat untuk you tengok you punya bacaan. So, for example, tadi we have pencil. Okay, we have pencil, contoh. So, contohnya ni pencil lah kan? Okay, contohnya ni pencil. So, you cannot read the reading from here or you cannot read the reading from here. So, ni adalah salah. The only correct position adalah B ni. Okay, so we need take some readings. Then you see lurus. Lurus ke bawah the pembaris, okay, the ruler so they must be rested tidak boleh dari kiri, kita boleh dari kanan, they must dekat bahagian atas betul-betul tepat bahagian atas so this question, they always ask you in the objective section, dia kan tanya ok, Ali, so contohnya Ali measuring uh, are measuring this pen, ataupun pencil or this um, tip contohnya, or straw so, what is the correct eye position for Ali to 
get the correct reading. Okay, so you can make it like A, B, C. Okay, so your answer should be B. Okay, why? Because you must see numbers. Okay, they tidak boleh daripada kiri, daripada kanan. These both are wrong. Only B sahaja yang betul. Okay, because um yeah, so you have to remember this. They will always ask in the objective question. Okay, so satu markah. Remember, okay. Hmm. That this is the correct position. Okay, so uh, you have two things that you need to measure. One is the curve line. Okay, one is the curve line and one is the circumference. So we're gonna look at one by one. Okay, so you I gonna teach first the curve line. So curve line ni maksudnya garis yang um dia dia ada curve. Okay, dia tidak lurus. So this is a straight line. A curve line adalah contohnya dia macam mana tu? Tu pun macam ni. Okay, so tu adalah curve line. So this is the curve line contoh. So how do you measure a curve line? Sebab kita tahu pembaris kita lurus, right? Kita tidak boleh bengkok-bengkokkan untuk kira curve line. Kita tidak boleh patah-patahkan untuk kira curve line. So we have other ways to measure contohnya curve line. Okay, so measure for a curve line yang first adalah contohnya this is your curve line. Okay, this thing is contohnya your curve line. Okay, for example, just just uh, imagine this is your curve line, benda ni. Okay, yang ni adalah your curve line. So first step of measuring curve line adalah you must have a string. Okay, this is the first step of measuring a curve line. You must have a string. So when you have a string, you ambil lah daripada Sini, you panjangkan sampai sini. Okay. So, when you have a string, bila kamu ada tali yang kecil, ni adalah curve line, kamu panjangkan tali tu. Okay. Sama panjang dengan curve line. Okay. And then you can have like your measuring tab or you can have your ruler. Okay. You can have measuring tab ataupun you punya ruler. Then you ambil you punya string tadi. You punya string. Okay. Second step, you ambil you punya string and then you potong. Okay, you potong and you punya third step is you ambil you punya string and you sukat. Berapa panjang dalam pembaris. Okay, so first step adalah you have your string. Panjangkan, okay, panjangkan macam ni. Third, second step adalah you potong dekat tepi. Okay, you cut. You cut at the bottom of the end. And third step will be your strengthen, extend your string, okay? Extend your string and then you sukat. You tengok, oh, benda ni around 15 cm. Contoh. Okay? So, that's other step. When you have a curve line, bila, bila ada garisan yang tidak lurus, ambil tali and then potong tali tu, letak atas pembaris. Okay? Letak atas pembaris ataupun ni, Measuring tab, kita pun hukum, then you're going to look at all the 5cm, 2cm, ataupun 10cm, 15cm, okay? So, another one, when you have circumference, okay, ukur lilit. So, circumference adalah contohnya benda bulat daripada ni, sampai hujung, okay? Daripada bulat ni sampai hujung. Sekeliling bulatan ni is the circumference. Contohnya, jika ada shilling, This mean, ni adalah circumference cikgu. Pusingan ceiling tu, ataupun kalau cikgu ada bola, pusingan bola ni, satu bola ni adalah circumference. So, circumference adalah adalah ukur lilit. Okay, ukur lilit bulat. Kamu ambil um, ni, ni adalah circumference. Contohnya cikgu ambil ni, ni adalah circumference bulat. Cikgu ni, ni adalah dia punya circumference. Okay, so that is what does it mean by circumference of an object. Okay, so how do you measure circumference of an object? Contohnya, okay, contohnya cikgu mau sukat bola ni, so cikgu ambil string, you must have string. Okay, macam tadi, kamu ada string kan? So you have string, nombor satu. So you measure circumference, you kasi, okay, you you bawa panjangkan, okay, macam ni, tali tu, and then potong. Okay, contohnya, if I want to measure shilling, I'm going to panjangkan tali, 
and then potong. So this is for example this person, okay, this student, they are bitali, and then they are potong at the end. So number one you have tali, number two you have to cut at the end, and number third adalah you have to have your ruler, and number fourth will be you measure, okay, you measure berapa tali ni tadi, okay, maybe like ten cm contohnya. Okay, so first step, you must have your string. Okay, and then you open the lid, you circumference, kasi bagi bulat, okay. And then, contohnya macam kawan ini, okay, dia bagi bulat. Then you must have your ruler or your measuring tape. Then panjangkan tali itu, okay. Panjangkan tali itu dekat pembaris and kamu boleh sukatlah maybe 10 cm or 5 cm. Ikut apa panjang benda tu. Okay. So, if you have any question, you can always ask me or you can always rewind back this video and I'm going to give you exercise for today.